Hi, Genki here, and welcome to my video store of Yodobashi Camera in Shinjuku. Oh my god, is that a mouse? Oh, it is a mouse. Hey there. Yeah, we're in Shinjuku, so it's not one of the most cleanest places in Tokyo because there's so many people and tourists. But yeah, this is a cool Yodobashi camera I found in the back streets of Shinjuku. So at this front, there's this cool Sega cabinet here with the Sonic games. And the Like a Dragon 8 display. And also Persona 5 Tactica, Persona 3 Reload, and Hogwarts Legacy, which is also being published by Sega in Japan as like a publishing partner. So yeah, we have this cool Sega cabinet at the front of the store. And yeah, this is quite a cool store, and it's the first time I've actually been to this store. Uh, it's quite a cool store I found in the back streets of Shinjuku, very close to the Shinjuku Station East exit. And here they have a cool Spider-Man display at the front of the store and also a Mario and Pikmin display as well. So you can see Spider-Man 2 there and it just got released and it had a decent launch. It sold like 77,000 physical units at launch which is like I think the fifth best-selling launch game for PlayStation 5 in terms of PlayStation 5 software only. So here we're going up to the second floor which is the game section and we have some cool posters on the wall. For Ace Attorney and Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, Detective Pikachu. So now we're going up to the second floor, and over on this side, we have a new release section with lots of new and upcoming releases, such as Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Infinity Strash The Adventures of Dai which just came out. And we have a cool cabinet for FIFA's oh well it's called EA Sports FC now. FC24. And we can see a uh, Like a Dragon and Spider-Man banner there too. So one thing you'll notice is in stores, all these banners have uh, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 and Switch versions on display, but no Xbox because Xbox don't print many uh, physical games in Japan. So I think Xbox should try to make it easier for publishers to make physical games because you see all these games advertised with uh, no Xbox logos in them. So here we have some leaflets. We have Gramble Fantasy Relink, nice display there. And over here we have uh, Square Enix games such as Star Ocean The Second Story R which is coming out next week. Got some Dragon Quest Monsters. Tales of Arise, the new DLC, Beyond the Dawn. So they're releasing a new Beyond the Dawn edition. And we have a cool Tekken 8 video there, so it's a nice little Bandai Namco section. At the top we have uh, Spider-Man 2, a cool trailer play. And over here we have some Persona games. Persona 3 Reload and Persona 5 Tactica, as well as Sonic and the Metal Gear Master Collection Volume 1. So yeah, it's a really cool, nice little new release section here. A nice little secret area tucked away there. So now we'll go to the main store, which we see some ads for Microsoft and Sega. And some old Xbox One logos. We have a Yeez banner at the front. And on this side, we can see all the PC gaming stuff, including the new ROG Ally, the ROG Ally and some controllers. So that's the PC section on the side with lots of PC monitors, accessories. And over here we have the main video game section. You can see there's PlayStation, Switch, and a and small Xbox corner over there too. So first let's have a look at this uh, PlayStation section. So here we go into the section with all the PS5 games, all lined up on this wall. 
including the Z-rated, Zero Z-rated games, which are like the 18 plus games, or more adult games. They have to section them off with their own uh, little red Zero C logo, as you can see on the side there. And we also have PS4 games on this wall. A bunch of uh, PlayStation 4 games like Cuphead, Ghost Trick, And here's some more new software it says there at the top, such as Assassin's Creed Mirage, what the Fate Remnant, and here's more the, the PlayStation 5 software. Got Miles Morales, Street Fighter 6, Jedi Survivor, Armored Core, Dragon Quest, Infinity Strash, Adventures of Die, and more. Over here we have some accessories such as um, HDMI cables and controllers. And here we have the PlayStation VR 2 as well as the new accessibility controller called the Access Controller in Japan. We've got some expandable SSD storage. And also we have some amiibos over here. So these are all the amiibos in stock at the moment. Seems that they're getting restocked and reprinted lately. And now we'll go over to the Switch section, which has a bunch of Joy Cons, some new software here, including Detective Pikachu, and you can get a special Pikachu card as well at the top there. We've got Pikmin games as well. And we'll go over here where we have even more selection of Switch games. As you can see here, got Splatoon, Xenoblade, The Witcher, all kinds of Switch software. And a nice little Pikmin 4 display in this corner, and um, screen protectors on the other side. We have some computer monitors showing Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. That game did quite decently in Japan. And now we'll go over to the Switch accessory corner which has a bunch of Switch accessories. Little cartridge cases and screen protectors, face plates, some download cards on the side there for the Switch software. More controllers and cases back here. Got a Mario case, Platoon case. Some more interesting controllers on this side, including some glowing, glowing ones and ones with LED lights. We have some Joy-Con straps there and some more controllers. Mario Kart wheel and even the fishing games. Fishing Spirit Accessories. And we have a cool Zelda GameCube controller. And a closer look at the Splatoon and Mario Switch cases, which are around 2,300 yen. And we have some more other Switch cases over here. So yep, that was the Switch section in this store. So you can see like the Switch section and the PlayStation section are quite big. And we also have a little magazine rack here with the latest Famitsu magazine, which uh, was featured Sonic Superstars a couple of weeks ago. And now we'll go over to the Xbox section. We have this corner here, which uh, has the Series X and the Series S on display as well as a bunch of Xbox controllers, third-party controllers on sale, some Game Pass cards, some more Xbox controllers and accessories, controller cases, and here are the games they have. They have uh, four games at the moment, Gears, Tactics, Forza, Flight Simulator and Forza Motorsport, which is the new game that just came out. 
and it's good to see it having a box copy here. So you're not much physical software in the stores when it comes to Xbox, more pushing Game Pass at the moment. And they even have a Game Pass leaflet here that you can check out. So yeah, that's the Xbox section in the store. So yep, yeah, that was a quick video tour of Yodobashi Camera in Shinjuku. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Jana!